Hello YouTube. Well, today is Easter Saturday. Uh, we're in lockdown and um, I've uh, remembered I had car parts I can install. Yes! Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, play with the streetcar today. So today we're going to install a Nismo clutch pedal. Um, now I haven't done this before, so watch me stuff this up, but uh, I figured uh, may as well go along with an install video. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything around clutch pedal installs for Nismo pedals on YouTube. Um, there's a few other ones. I'm sure they're exactly the same, um, but uh, you know, Nismo tax. <laughs> anyway, um, so today uh, on the coffees, so it's uh, nice and early, got uh, the family inside they're um, just having a relax because you know this COVID-19 is killing us and uh, that car back there hasn't moved since our last event which is a real shame because it actually drove really well and uh, it was um, yeah basically uh, flawless and um, I want to get back out there but I can't anyway and en enough of that so uh, let's go ahead and uh, and we'll get into it so I've already opened it because I couldn't wait um, but uh, this is what you get. So this is brand new. Um, you can still get them from Nissan in Japan. They're the models that are available. Um, there's that. Yep. <laughs> um, ignore the paint. It is getting done soon. Uh, so these are all the components that obviously have to get mucked around with. As you can see, pry bar action. That's going to be fun. Um, so just so you all know, I can't speak a word of Japanese or read it. So to me, this means absolutely nothing. Disappointed though, no stickers. Well, I've started doing a uh, sticker collage. We'll just do for a giggle up here. So uh, anyone who's got any stickers they don't want, I'm going to throw them on the beam. But uh, yeah. So anyway, let's move on to the reason you've probably clicked on this video. There it is. So... Mounts on the firewall, pedal on there, brand new stopper as well, which is good. My one currently squeaks, and I don't think it has anything to do with uh, the brace, but I figured uh, rude not to. Um, and uh, let's go in the car and have a look. So of course, as soon as I uh, get into the shed, it starts raining, so apologies for the background noise. But um, you can hear it here. Uh, and for, for myself, uh, that has horrendous, horrendous OCD issues. Um, anyway, let's, uh, let's get it out. Ignore this bit, got a new stereo on the way. All right, so we're now under the dash. Um, just noticed there's not any grease on that spring, so that's probably what the noise is, but uh, Nismo parts are what this car desires, or the owner, anyway. <laughs> Uh, so that's it there. It's pretty rusty as you can see, which uh, is an ideal actually. One day I might pull all this out and um, give it half a clean up. But um, yeah, that's what we've got to get to. So let's, uh, I'm going to try and do this as best I can, um, filming and also uh, pulling it all apart. Uh, forgive me if I'm not um, a professional photographer or anything, but I'll, uh, I'll give it the best that we can. Okay, so step one. There's a split pin back here. I don't know if you can, uh, hang on, where are we? There we are. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, you can. Yeah, just that one there. So that's got to come out the first step. Okay, that's it there. Step two, got to get that one there. And there's one down the back there. So um, they're uh, 12 mils by the look of it. So crack, uh, crack them out and back into the car.
comes loose. Now I'm not breaking the seal on the lines, I'm just replacing the pedal area. So won't need a re-bleed, which is good. Um, but uh, yeah, so you'll notice that with those two, that becomes free and then we'll go inside the car. Okay, next step, that's on top of the pedal. I couldn't get in there, it was just too hard and it didn't look elegant. Um, so that one just sits basically in there. And the pedal should become loose. Okay, so it wasn't as simple as popping it out. That was a pain in the ass. Basically, with the S14s and S13s, they're different. I've done this on a 13 before, but it doesn't have an air vent, as you can see, right there, that goes into the door. Um, basically, this this lip that's just here, if that was about three mil shorter, it would have been a lot easier. Um, when removing it from S14s, just please make sure you don't cut that, because the last thing you want to do is cut that, because that will just whistle its head off, the old Wuhan whistler. Anyway, time to pull this one apart. Okay, so clutch pedal's now off as you can see, and the spring is now floating. So we just got to compress that where I put my, oh, over here. Okay, so now we've got the uh, pedal out. Just got to compress this to get the spring out now. Yeah, just so you realize, this is how it goes. Spring between the two, U-clip on the bottom. Now, the next thing to do is pull out your adjuster. Hopefully you can see this, I haven't tried this uh, camera mount. Okay, now the spring. Just lost power. No, oh, we're back. Oh, no, we're not. All right. Stay tuned. To the, we'll come back to you after this short break. A few moments later. Okay, so I'm still without power, but uh, didn't work. Oh. <laughs> Let's speak of the devil. We're back. All right. So um, I've re-greased in the joint uh, in there, giving it a general cleanup. Uh, everything's all back together. Pedals in. Now we just got to fit it all in. I have just realised though what I thought was the uh, stopper wasn't, and it actually doesn't have one. So I'll have to get one of them sorted uh, during the week, um, hopefully. Anyway, let's throw it back in the car. All right. So I'm uh, not going to spend much time on this shot because I'm upside down and it's giving me a headache. <laughs> Anyway, long story short, as you can see it in, and that's the bolt hole that needs to go in that side there, <coughs> and uh, and then it goes on the firewall. So, nearly done. We'll just pop this one in, and I'll go around to the engine bay again. All right, so we're back now down near the front. We'll just put those two bolts on finger tight. We'll crank them shut, and uh, we'll we'll give it a kick. See how it goes. Okay, so it's um, probably been about a month since um, we got out of the car on the clutch. Unfortunately, the clutch pedal bush broke uh, it it pulled itself apart I couldn't really do anything about it so ended up going down to Nissan and uh, ordering one 
then COVID and all that sort of garbage just kicked in and nothing was getting out of Japan. So we're about a month, month and a half or what have you later on and we've got it. So this, let's get in there, that tiny little blue bush cost $33 from Nissan. Shame on you, there's about 10, not even like a cent worth of plastic. Anyway, so we'll uh, continue on. We'll throw the bush back in, the spring in, and then uh, uh, we'll have a, a bonus surprise at the end. So I'm not gonna get back under there, but it's all uh, basically put in now. Um, so hopefully uh, this is a good insight for you how to do it. Uh, pretty easy job to do really, once you get your head around it all. But um, on to the bonus. So Facebook Marketplace picked up a absolute cracker here. Dead pedal. Now, why is this uh, why is this something that we're chasing? Well, it was an option out of Japan, so this car is going to try and get every option that was available. So far, we're probably about sixty percent into the list of uh, or into the catalogue, so we're slowly getting there. But um, let's get into it now, quick. <laughs> pretty good but one side of it uh, is a bit pitted still so it probably needs a, a replating and um, to be honest I uh, don't want to tip the money into it just at this stage we will come back to it but uh, let's throw it in it's still pretty good for something that's nearly what 24 years old <laughs> so let's uh, get it in we'll have a look at the final product <laughs> Okay, so that's all a wrap for the streetcar. Basically, the next thing that we'll be getting onto is probably uh, wheels on this, which uh, is waiting for the old tax return to come in. So we'll do that one shortly. Uh, next, I might uh, go through how to get rid of um, uh, you know your belt marks from drift days. So if you have a look over here. The 14 copped it pretty hard. So I've got a little hot tip for that. So we'll do that probably in the next video because we're going to go out to Pheasant Wood again. And Pheasant Wood uh, really is such a great track, but it's unfortunately the best part of nine hours or whatever it is away. Um, so we'll do that one in the next probably couple of videos. That's in a couple of weeks. Got to get the tire pile uh, all sorted out because uh, Really, there isn't a lot. So if you do have any rubber lying around and you want to donate to the old Benry's Fry Em Off Fund, uh, hit me up. But um, once again, thanks for watching. Been a bit of a long, drawn-out video, but uh, hope you enjoy. Cheers again.